All right, so now that I have traced all of the shapes with the color that I want it to be, I'm gonna need a paintbrush and some water, and I'm going to add water onto the shape. So let's start up at the top. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the water, and then I'm just going to add some water onto the color that I just made. And you can see it's already starting to spread. So it's like I'm painting with the water. And you wanna get the water onto that marker line that you did so that it can spread. So this part, so I wanted my sky to be blue and it's definitely turning blue. So you're just gonna keep adding water. You want to make your marker wet, so keep adding it. And I'm going to finish uh, the painting with my sky part. All right, so as I was painting my sky, I was trying to be really careful to not get my paintbrush into any of the other parts because I want to um, make sure that I don't get blue into the other parts. But if you do, it's not a big deal, right? So I finished doing the sky. You can see I also added a little bit of blue streaks onto my clouds. And then I washed my paintbrush in the water. Remember when you wash it, you put it all the way down till it touches the bottom, not hard, just a little bit. And then you pretend like you're sweeping the floor. Sweep, 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 sweep the floor. All right, so now my paintbrush is done and I am ready to start doing the same thing to my other spots. Look at that, it's turning brown. So cool. Okay, so I'm gonna keep painting. So something cool you might have noticed is that when I started to paint my castle, the black that I put around the edge actually makes gray when you start to mix it in with the white paper. So pretty cool, huh? All right, so I added water onto, and now it really looks like a painting, doesn't it? So cool, you can paint with markers. So I'm going to set this off to the side and let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and add some details. So let's just set it off, dry, let it dry for about an hour, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so my paper is pretty dry now. I am going to add some details on top of what I did, and I'm just gonna use my markers again to do that. So I'm gonna see if I can make some stones on my castle, let's see. I'm gonna take out my gray and my black. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. So if you wanna make some stones, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little bit closer. You want to just make organic shapes, which are just those weird shapes that don't really have a name. They're just kind of curvy and funny. So you can fill it and it, it just, it looks like stones, doesn't it? Usually castles were made out of stone when they were built because stone lasts a long time, doesn't it? So I'm just filling this up with some organic shapes. And I'm gonna do the whole castle, so I'm gonna keep going. Wow, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks, it makes the castle look really real. So I can do that all over my paper, right? Like I could add details in my water. I could go down to my grass and add some more grass in there with my markers. So I can just go all over and just decide where I want those details to be. All right, artists, I hope you had a great time making your castle and I can't wait to see them. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.